Now, see in this example, a stream of water flowing horizontally with a speed of 15 meter per second pushes out of a tube of cross sectional area 10 raised to power minus 2 meter square and hits at a vertical wall nearby. What is the force exerted on the wall by the impact of water assuming that it does not rebound? Suppose there is a tube having cross sectional area A, water is coming out with a certain speed and hitting it uh, at a wall and the water does not re rebounding here, does not rebound. It means when the water is coming out here and hitting this is here and then we assume that is coming to at rest, it means there is a change in momentum. So, the rate of change of momentum is equal to the force excited that will be equal to impact. So, first we have to calculate the mass, how much mass of the water is striking this wall in 1 second. So, we know area is equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 meter per second meter square, velocity is equal to 15 meter per second. So, we can calculate it here. So, volume per second, volume of water per second is equal to 15 into 10 raised to power minus 2 meter cube per second. So, in that case we can calculate the mass, mass is equal to is volume into density of water that is 15 into 10 raised to power minus 2 into 10 raised to power 3 kg per second. So, that will be here 150 kg per second. This much mass is hitting the wall per second. So, now we have to find out the rate of change of momentum. So, force is equal to here change in momentum that we can write here change in momentum upon time interval that will be equal to a change in momentum m v upon 1 because you are taking per second. So, here 150 into 15 divided by 1 that is 2250 Newton. So, this much force is acting on the wall.